Today we're gonna make a video that we have not dared to make before Even though many of you have asked for many years How is the weed situation, weed situation in Norway? <laughs> is it legal or illegal? And in this video, oh my god, it's police In this video, will you, you will know Imagine how traumatically shocked I was I needed to smoke one after that <laughs> what country was that? Norway. Norway? Really? I would have never imagined they'd be so hardcore. Norway is one of the most liberal countries in the world when it comes to women's rights, LBTQ people's rights. As a child in Norway, you can decide your own sex, nudity, swear words, it's legal on television, and abortion, of course it's legal, because Norway is run on science and rationality, but not when it comes to weed or cannabis. Then it's irrationality, prejudice, and totally not Norway. So we burn it. It's a hot discussion. Okay. Let the emotions rule. Cannabis or weed has been a part of Norwegian culture at least since the Viking ages. But in modern times, the situation is totally different. Until recently, it was illegal. And the politics against and the law and everything was run by the church, inspired by Nixon's uh, uh, war on drugs and the police and actually a private police lobbying thing that, uh, but we'll come back to that later, that run the whole thing. And you would be punished. Even they had suspicious that you had been smoking or doing something. They would go into the school, have a police razzia, humiliate the pupils, strip them naked in jail. And if you were caught smoking, oh my God, you were like, big criminal, you were right to jail and you had a, a spot on your record and couldn't go to US for instance. Yes, you were criminalized. Come back like maybe six months later, this time when I come back they like, they pull me and my cousin over on the side of the road and just draw down on us like, you under arrest. I'm like, damn, I just got here. You had a dirty test last time you was here, you under arrest. Put me in the car, arrest me, take me down to the station, make me pee in the cup again. But uh, the situation in Norway is like this. According to statistics, uh, approximately 5% of us uh, smoke weed uh, the last month. Among young people, it's 14%. And uh, when, if you come to a place like Oslo, for instance, here, it will s smell in the street. You will, they will sell a paper for rolling in the shops. And, and this river is quite important because here, over there, is the west end. And on the west end, in the richest area, there they you don't have... Smoke. You have the most consumption of uh, weed and drugs and alcohol and everything. But of course, on this side, on the east side, on the poor side, here the police will arrest people, harass people, no and uh, really attack uh, you know, foreigners, illegal uh, refugees, and all of that. So on this side, police are doing terrible things. On that side, on the west side, people are smoking like hell and police are not doing anything at all. It's all over in music, in television series, in movies, Norwegian movies. You will see people smoking, so it is there. Just here? And buying it uh, over there, for instance, that's the most known when uh, news in Norway we want to make a news re reportage. They always the go there. The illegal here. market in Norway, they always go there. But medical marijuana? Mm, good question. And actually, that is legal in Norway. Oh, yeah. But wait, so wait, I wait, can wait, go wait. To the no, 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 no. Because you cannot sell it in Norway. So what? these people that have a prescription, they need to go on their own to the Netherlands, to Amsterdam, to a coffee shop, buy their stuff there, and then return to Norway and then. At the custom they will be harassed and even though they have legal documentation and prescription because custom police and all the officials when it comes to weed we cannot 
we are not run by a rationality and sense. Yeah, but Ronald, is it legal <laughs> or illegal? Uh, it's complicated and you have to watch until the end to get the answer actually. Oh. New thoughts, new ideas, inspiration from Canada, different states in the US, US and Germany, and suddenly there are parties, political parties, talking about, okay, maybe we should change this politics, maybe it doesn't work here in Norway. But suddenly something happened. Number one, uh, this police lobbying thing, we didn't know about it. We thought it was Norwegian law, we thought police was doing everything according to Norwegian law. But no, they were doing everything according to this private police lobbying thing. Yeah, but it's the police. Yes, but it's a private police lobbying thing, not an offic uh, official uh, government-run police thing. Okay. And Norwegian Supreme Court came in suddenly and said, Hey, Mr. Police, you cannot criminalize people just smoking weed. What? Because according to Norwegian law, this is a minor thing. You cannot put them into jail. You, have, you can give them a fine, but that's it. You can't do anything more. It's like driving a little bit too high of in, according to speed limit. And everything it's changed. It's illegal. We will, we will be in jail. <coughs> it's mm. illegal. Do you hear me? It's going to be mayhem. Uh, yes, because now we have a tug of war in Norway when it comes to weed and cannabis. Come here, you bastard. Come on here, one side, on one side, it's still the church, it's still the police, and uh, parents that are afraid. What? And on my yeah. side, you have more liberal politicians, you have uh, uh, science, and the academics. Yeah, and on my side, it's feelings, because what about my children? If they smoke weed, they will turn into full-time heroinist addicts, I know it. Well, according to research, nicotine and alcohol are much more dangerous triggers to that. I don't believe you. What about mental illness? Do you want my child to be sick and get into psychosis? It's true that we have a mental issue problem, but it's not only connected to weed. So we, yes, we have to use resources. I totally disagree. We have to have a zero vision on this. Eliminate this demon. Get it out from <laughs> Norway. <laughs> well, then I would say that's not realistic. It's been here, it is what? here, and it will be here. And instead of uh, having a black market, let's sell it through our uh, wine and alcohol monopoly. What? Do you want the government to earn on this? Well, it's better that uh, it's regulated and the government is earning than criminals uh, 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 running the black market. So much better that it's the government. You're a demon. Well, no. I'm just uh, based on science, rationality, and you know, other things that Norway is known for. Where is your feelings? Yeah, if you go overseas, they have totally different rules. If you get arrested with weed in like Singapore, you're in real fucking trouble. How about one country you can't even smell like weed? Really? So what do you think? Which side are you on? We would love to know. Leave us a comment, push like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Ronald. Is it legal or illegal to smoke weed in Norway? And the answer, it is complicated. Oh, Jesus Christ, yes or no? And yes and no. It is illegal, but you will not get punished. Because since that police, uh, private police lobbying scandal, the police has have, have anxiety and then don't want to smell it, they don't want to see it, they want to hear it, and they will not uh, interrupt you if you are smoking. But it is illegal, but not without any punishment. So my advice to you guys, if you, no thank, 
if if you uh, he asked you for yeah, time, he so. asked me if I wanted to. If you smoke weed in Norway, you have to pretend then that you don't, and then you will be fine. Okay, guys, yeah, uh, so that was it for I the. Feel so alive. Uh, mm, well, that's how it is in Norway. We will we will be in jail. It's illegal. It's illegal. Oh!